Being able to read a hydraulic schematic gives you the ability to quickly understand a complex hydraulic system. To start learning, we are going to go over some basics. These are called flow lines. They show a path that oil can take. A dashed line represents either a pilot or a drain line. When two flow lines cross each other, a dot or node means that the paths are connected. Think of a fork in the road. Oil could go in either direction. If the lines cross without a node, or there is a little hump over one of the lines, they are not connected together, and oil is unable to pass from one of the flow lines to the other. There are three main basic schematic structures for components. Because motors and pumps spin around in circles, they are represented by a circle. A circle can also represent a sensor. An easy way to remember this is by thinking of the typical pressure sensor. Squares represent valves. Combined together like this, they represent valve positions with the greater rectangle around them representing the whole valve. The final basic structure is the diamond. This represents fluid conditioning devices such as coolers and filters. Lastly, an arrow traveling along a flow path indicates the direction of flow. It is important to remember that an arrow doesn't necessarily mean flow is limited to only this direction, it just means that this is the intended direction of flow. An arrow on the diagonal, such as this one, is used to indicate that something is variable or can be adjusted. For example, a diagonal arrow over a pump would indicate the pump has variable displacement. For more information on pumps, check out this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.